Hello everyone, in this video we shall take a look at how to balance redox equations. The two golden rules apply. Number one, in every equation it must obey the law of conservation of mass. This means that the number of atoms of each element must be the same on both sides. The second golden rule is that the number of charges must also be the same. These are the two very important things to check when you write chemical equations. Depending on whether the reaction is carried out in acidic or alkali medium, there are different methods to balance the redox equation. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step approach first and then we'll practice a few examples. You might have learned that acidified potassium manganate 7 is a strong oxidizing agent and it is able to oxidize iron 2 ions to iron 3 ions. This reaction happens under acidic conditions. Because redox is made out of two processes, reduction and oxidation, we construct separate half equations for these reactions first. So step 1, knowing that manganate 7 is reduced to manganese 2, this is our half equation, and iron 2 is oxidized to iron 3 ion. So we start off here, we first balance the elements that undergo oxidation and reduction, over here, I have one manganese on both sides, one iron on both sides. So this one, step two, we are done. Step three, we balance oxygen atoms by adding water molecules. On the left, I have four oxygen. This means I must add four water molecules to balance out the oxygen. Over on this side, I leave it blank because there are no oxygen to balance in the oxidation half equation. Step four. We add in hydrogen atoms to balance the H. 4 water means there are 8 hydrogen. I will add in 8 H+. Plus. Next, we balance the charges by adding electrons. I have minus 1 charge here, 8 positive charges, and I have plus 2, and this one neutral. Summing them up, I have overall of plus 7 on the left and plus 2 on the right. Now you compare the left and right, the charges don't balance, right? This is plus 7, this is plus 2, this is 5 more than here. That means I must add negative charges to bring this down to the same charge. So add 5 electrons and then the charges will be balanced. For the oxidation equation, this is 2 plus, this is 3 plus, so I add 1 electron to make the charges two on each side. Next, in any redox reaction, the number of electrons gained must be equal to the number of electrons lost. Now, in the reduction equation, it requires five electrons, but in the oxidation equation, it only gives out one. They are not the same. So we find the lowest common multiple, which is five. We multiply the entire equation by five times. Now the number of electrons are the same for both equations. We can then add up the two equations. Electrons are the same, so we can kind of cancel them. Things that are on the left go on the left. This is on the left, so it goes on the left. Things that are on the right go on the right. And there we have it. This is the final equation. Now we just do a final check to make sure we do not make any careless mistakes. Check that the number of atoms are the same on both sides and then check that the charges are the same on both sides. If there is a need, do reduce the coefficients to the simplest ratio. If you are comfortable with what I have presented, go on and try examples A and B. Otherwise, you can continue and follow along. Here we have potassium dichromate 6 being reduced to chromium 3 plus ion, and then nitrous acid to nitrate ion. Alright, we are going to separate the two half equations. Step 1, balance the atoms first. So I balance chromium. Okay, it looks like the N here is balanced. Then we move on, balance oxygen. I will add 7H2O. Balance oxygen, 
by adding water. Next, balance hydrogen by adding H+. That means we have 14 H plus here. 3, so plus 3 H plus. Next, we check that the charges are the same on both sides. On the left here, I have minus 2 plus 14, that is plus 12. Then 2 times 3 here is plus 6. They are not the same. In order to make them the same, I need to add 6 electrons to bring down the charge down to plus 6. On this side, the overall charge on the left is 0 and on the right, this is minus 1 plus 3, that is plus 2. So the right side has a positive charge while the left side has no charge. I need to bring down the charge to 0, so I'm going to add 2 electrons on the right. Next up, we're going to make the number of electrons the same. So here there are 6 electrons, here there are 2. The common multiple is 6. I'll have to times 3 to the entire equation. That means it will be 3, 3, 3, 9, and 6. Okay, now we can put the equation together. Everything on the left, we put on the left. And everything on the right, we put on the right. We then check what is common on both sides. Electrons are the same. Cancel the electrons. Okay, we can cancel some water here. So 3 water, this side becomes 4. We can cancel the H+, plus. so I deduct the H+, plus here. And then we rewrite it neatly, and we get something like this. Let's try the second example. Again, we separate our oxidation and reduction half equations. Step 1, balance the atoms that are oxidized or reduced. Nitrogen is balanced. I'm going to balance iodine here. Then we add water to balance the oxygen. And then H plus ions to balance hydrogen. Now we balance the charges. The right side is neutral, while the left side has an overall plus one charge. I need to add an electron. Over here, the left hand side has minus two, so the right hand side must be minus two. I'm going to add two electrons. We then multiply so that the number of electrons are the same. So two, two, four, two, two. Then we can combine the equation. Whatever is on the left goes on the left. Whatever is on the right goes on the right. We realize that the electrons are the same on both sides now, that we can cancel them. Okay, let's rewrite the equation neatly. So that's it for acidic medium. If the redox reaction happens under alkaline conditions, then there are additional few more steps that we have to do. We are going to use the reaction between potassium manganate 7 and potassium iodide. Same thing, we start off by writing the half equations for reduction and oxidation, then balance the atoms that undergo reduction and oxidation. Over here, we're going to balance iodine, so 2, 2, Mn is balanced. So we are done for the first two steps. This is still the same, we add water molecules to balance oxygen. On the left, I have 4. So on the right, I must have 4 oxygen. We then add H plus to balance the hydrogen atoms. On the right, I have 4 hydrogen. On the left, I'll add 4 H plus.
Now this is the additional step that we have to do for alkaline conditions. We have to add the same number of OH as we have added for H+. So I add 4H+, plus, I must add 4OH, and this must be added on both sides. Now, we have to combine any H+, plus and OH to form water. And then cancel anything that we have in common on the left and right. So for water, two water, we can cancel some water molecules. I'm left with two. Okay, and then this part will be the same. We will add electrons to balance the charges. On the left, I have minus 1. On the right, I have minus 4. So I'll add 3 electrons on the left, so that both sides, the charge is minus 4. Here, I'll also add 2 electrons to balance the charges. We have to make sure that the total number of electrons gained and lost must be the same. The common multiple here would be 6. So I have to times 2 to this equation and times 3 to this equation. We can then cancel the electrons which are common on both sides and then put everything on the left here and then everything on the right on the right. So here we have it the final combined equation for this redox reaction. I will encourage you to try these steps in sequence as applied to the next two examples. You can pause the video and then I'll go through them with you. Let's take a look at this example. Chlorine becomes chloride. Chlorine also becomes chlorate. Step 1, balance the atoms first. Next, balance oxygen by adding water. Then balance hydrogen by adding H+. Then add an equal number of OH as you have for H+. We can combine this to form water. We can cancel the water on this side. And now add electrons to balance the charges. On the left, I have minus 12. On the right here, I have minus 2. So I need to have 10 electrons. Over here, I will add 2. We have to make the number of electrons the same on both sides. This means that this equation needs to be times 5. So I have 5 Cl2 plus 10 electrons give 10 Cl minus. Okay, cancel the electrons on both sides, and now we are ready to combine the two equations. Here, we can combine the chlorine to be 6Cl2, and looks like we are done. Whenever you can reduce the coefficients to the simplest ratio, we will do so. One last example. Balance atoms, lead is balanced. Now we balance oxygen by adding water. So there are 4 and there are 2 here. I'm going to add 2 water. I'm going to add 1 water here. Next, balance hydrogen. There are 4H. There are 4H is balanced. 2H. I will add this. Then add an equal number of OH minus on both sides. Combine your H plus and OH minus to form water. Cancel anything that is common on both sides. And now we balance the charges by adding electrons. The number of electrons are the same, so we just cancel and we are ready to combine the two equations together. We are still able to cancel water. There's one here, there's two here. We can cancel why it's the same, and it looks like we are done. Okay, so that's all for balancing half equations. Just take note whether it's acidic or basic medium, and for each of them, you just follow the sequence of steps and don't make any careless mistakes. 
that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching.